Hi there, this is Julie Larson with DivasMobileSolutions.com and in this video I'm going to show you how you can create your own .com or domain name email address. For example, I've got Julie at DivasMobileSolutions.com here and it just is a little bit more professional when you're using your .com email when you're dealing with your um, business clients. So let's head over to HostGator. This is our cPanel here. We use both HostGator and Bluehost as our hosting accounts. And in this case, I'm going to scroll down to Mail and then Email Accounts. And I would like to add the, the uh, email address of sales at divasmobilesolutions.com. So I'm just going to type in sales and where it says at there, I'm going to make sure I've got the right domain name that I'm connecting it with. Give me a moment here, I'm going to add my password. Okay, you can see we've got a good strong password, which you want to do, you definitely want to have a good strong password. And I'm going to click on Mailbox Quota Unlimited and then simply hit Create Account. Now it counts down here for a few moments and then it just um, pops back to the same screen. Alright, there we go. Now I'm going to click back over to Home and we want to forward that email. Click on Forwarders and um, I'm going to add a forwarder because I don't have that one set up yet. And I'd like to add um, sales at divasmobilesolutions.com and I would like that to be forwarded to my um, Gmail account. Okay, so I'm just going to click on Add Forwarder and there you have it. Alright, now let's go back over here to the Gmail and um, I've got a couple other tutorials that you're going to want to pay attention to and I'll include the links there or you can just go over to uh, divasmobilesolutions.com and look at our blog posts but I've, I'm going to show you how you can manage everything within your Gmail so this is my regular Gmail account but if I want to respond to somebody or um, compose an email to somebody within my uh, my within my qrdivas.com email I can do that there and also I've got another video that shows you how you can add all these cool clickable social media icons alright so hope that was helpful thank you and we'll talk to you next time bye bye